Good afternoon, my friends, and hello from Disney's Hollywood Studios. So I wanted to come here to the park today because Disney has recently updated their reservation system for pass holders with good to go days for the rest of the month. And it's July, mind you, it's supposed to be the peak time for summer travel. And Disney told its pass holders, hey, you guys can come whenever you want. And if you don't know what good to go days are for pass holders, Basically, we don't have to make a reservation to come to one of the parks. We can just show up in Park Hob, we can do whatever we want, which I just feel like that's how it is supposed to be. I'm just over the reservation system completely. Also, this time last week when I was trying to make this park reservation for Hollywood Studios, it did not exist. It was full, but as of a few days ago, it's completely available. So I just wanted to come here because obviously, the parks are empty and every week I come here to Disney I feel like the parks are just getting more empty and more empty so I just wanted to come here today enjoy myself I love Hollywood Studios and I just want to see the crowd level for myself I want to see how the park is operating right now because making my way into the park as far as the parking lot doesn't seem that busy at all so we'll see Regardless, we're going to have some fun today. I hope you guys are ready because I am. Let's go do this. All right, I have made it inside of the park and the current time is just about 5 p.m. And this is what the crowd is looking like, at least here at the main entrance pretty light. I know I say this a lot when I'm here at Hollywood Studios, but my biggest tip if you want to come to this park, don't start your day here. It's very chaotic. There's not that many things to do here. I would end your day here. So I would just park hop here because after 6 p.m. all of the wait times will dip like a lot. The standby wait for Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway is sitting at a 45 minute wait at the moment. I'm going to make my way over to Star Wars Launch Bay just because it's been a very long time since I've last been in there and I just wanna see what it's like. Side note, what do you guys think of this show? I've been watching it. I will say the first two episodes were not great at all, but I've been kind of hooked ever since. I mean, I'm entertained. Is it cheesy? Yes. Is it the best Star Wars series ever? No, but it's okay. Let me know down below in the comments, what do you think? There's Fancy Nancy and Pluto. Keep in mind, Launch Bay does close at 6 p.m. daily. You can meet Darth Vader, 20 minutes, Chewbacca, 10, and BB-8, 10 minutes. Does anyone remember when this used to be a movie theater and you could see a short Star Wars film before heading inside of Launch Bay? Has not been open in a very long time. All of this space is just not being used anymore. Yeah, there's not that much going on. As you see, there's just a lot of people relaxing in this space right now. This is the Chewbacca meet and greet right here. And then you can meet Darth Vader right there. There's Rey's costume in her speeder from The Force Awakens. And then they used to have Jawas walking around. Not anymore. There's Blue Milk right there. They just have a Disney Photo Pass photographer right here taking photos. There used to be the gift shop right here. Can we still? Oh yeah, no more gift shop. That's the exit of the BB-8 meet and greet. And then right here, usually, and I don't think they offer this anymore, but this is where you would come if you have a Disney Visa card where you could have a exclusive meet and greet with little to no wait. But yeah, more wasted space back here. That would be the gift store a few years ago and there's just nothing at the moment. And that's it. That's the exit. Just these doors right there. That's the entrance. Man, there's just so much Disney could do with this space because in my own personal opinion, Launch Bay is not needed anymore because of Galaxy's Edge. I just feel like this is misplaced, I feel like. And Disney has all of this room back here. Of course, you still have Disney Junior, a lot of 
families enjoy Disney Junior, so I would say keep that or just move Disney Junior somewhere else. But like, there's so many things I could think of with this space that Disney could do, like Monsters University. I know that was a rumor for a very long time. <sighs> there's just so much they could do with this space. Hopefully one day, but Disney, you gotta put some money in the parks. By the way, this was the gift shop that I was talking about. Now it just says cast members only. And then over here, the studio store isn't even open anymore. Maybe it will reopen once the Little Mermaid show comes back later this year. Let's make a quick stop inside of Walt Disney Presents and see if they have added anything new. Oh, Walt, you are deeply missed, let me tell you. I do wonder what this man would think right now, given the current times and the current circumstances that his company is doing right now. Makes you wonder, what if? There used to be so much creativity and storytelling within this company. Where did it go? And I'm not just saying this to be a negative Nancy. I say this because I want this company to succeed. I want this company to be great. But the direction they're heading, I just feel like it's going to continue to get worse than it is right now. And let me tell you, based on the crowd level here at the parks, here at Walt Disney World, it's not looking too good. I will say, every time I come inside of Walt Disney Presents, it does truly make me happy just seeing everything, all of the vintage, things. You have Walt's desk. You have the original Disneyland park map behind me here. It's just nice. If you ever want a walk down memory lane, come in here. You won't be disappointed. I'm glad this is still here and I really hope Disney does not take this away ever. They have a few items from Inside Out 2 which did extremely well at the box office. We did go see this movie and it was awesome. Not going to lie, I enjoyed it a lot. I really enjoyed Anxiety, it was very relatable. And then they have some costumes from Descendants, The Rise of Red, available on Disney Plus. And then you can still meet Ariel from the live action story. Looks like Pixar Place is not open. I believe they only open this when they need the extra capacity. Also, I just looked on my Disney experience on my phone. Right now, Rise of the Resistance only has a 60 minute standby wait. 60 minutes. <laughs> what? Hey, partners. Boy, am I glad to see you. I am now walking through Toy Story Land and I can already smell the barbecue from Roundup Rodeo Barbecue right there. So I set my alarm this morning for 6.58 a.m. to wake up to give myself enough time to get the virtual queue drops and to also pick my first Lightning Lane because I wanted to purchase Lightning Lane to ride rides today. But my phone just kept glitching out as I was using the app and then I pulled out my laptop, logged in, but it kept kicking me off of the website, you know, just kept making you log back in. If you know, you know, it's a little frustrating, but nothing was working. It did not allow me to purchase Lightning Lane, which did not allow me to use Lightning Lane today. So I was a little frustrated because I'm like, what's going on? And then I come here today, talk to a few cast members, and the app has been having issues all day. Issue after issue, man, I tell you what. Toy Story Mania is sitting at a 45 minute standby wait, and over here at Slinky Dog Dash, it is sitting at a 70 minute standby wait, but there's no way this is 70 minutes. No way. I say that because look at most of the queue. It's empty. That's where the line starts, right in there. I'm kind of tempted just to hop in line. Matter of fact, I think I will to time it because it's not 70 minutes. Okay, I started my timer. Let's see. While I'm in line, I'm just looking at the restaurants that are available for a walk up. And it looks like just about every single restaurant I can walk up to right now at this park, including Oga's Cantina. So just sci-fi. I can't. Everything else, 
I can join the walk-up list. This looks like a minion, doesn't it? 38 and a half minutes. I'm about to get on Slinky Dog Dash. What did it say? 70 minutes? <laughs> Come on, Disney. Come on. And away we go in the back row. Let's go do this. Okay, I just got off of Slinky Dog Dash. It was not a 70 minute wait. I had a feeling, that's why I decided to hop in line. And when I do these Disney World videos, I'm doing these to show you what it's really like. I tell you how it is, I tell you the truth, and that's just how it is here on PC Dev. And I like it like that, and I know a lot of you value that. I'm not one of those Disney influencers who will just praise Disney for everything they do, no matter what. And I know you guys know that, and I know that's why you watch me. But anyways, let's talk about what I seen in line, because I saw a lot. I have never witnessed so much line cutting. And I know some of you may be like, dev they were just going to the bathroom or whatever well i don't think so because i waited behind a party for 75 percent of the time i was waiting in the standby queue to ride slinky and then all of a sudden three people joins them in line and then all of a sudden two other people joins them in line as soon as we're about to hit the merge point where lightning lane is i mean it wasn't just that i witnessed this the entire time i was in line of just people cutting hearing people getting frustrated and then i've been noticing the park is kind of dirty and i i don't want to say dirty because i i don't like that word but i am seeing so much trash all over the place trash cans overflowing trash in the queue line Clearly, Disney is a bit understaffed at the moment. Oh, man. That was pretty frustrating. I will say, I believe they inflated the wait time because obviously just they want the lines to look longer, but they're not. And also, not that many people are buying Lightning Lane or Disney Genie Plus at the moment. I did not see too many people enter the Lightning Lane when I was in line. For slinky so i believe that's what really sped up the line in a way so just keep this in mind if you are coming anytime soon there's no need to purchase disney genie plus or a lightning lane and honestly if you're coming to disney world anytime soon i would cancel because coming here right now is very very expensive and i personally don't think it's the right time to spend that kind of money if you want your Disney fix just go take a Disney cruise because the magic still exists on a Disney cruise but I did make a walk-up reservation to Oga's Cantina because I just could not pass that up because it's a walk up and go enjoy yourself so that's what I'm doing because I'm quite thirsty after waiting in line and witnessing all of that and again 
I am not trying to be negative. I'm just telling it how it is. And after two minutes of joining the walk-up list, I already got the text saying, it's time to go enjoy Oga's Cantina. So this is where the Star Cruiser would drop its guest off if you were enjoying that for the time it was here. But now it's just a capture your moment photo pass opportunity. And people are just sleeping and relaxing. Oh, and here we are. I am very excited to enjoy Oga's Cantina. This place is pretty awesome. There is a new mug that you can buy and take home. And that grinning walk cat mug is $28. Non-alcoholic it looks like. And here are the mocktails that you can get here. Also have some snacks. I think I may get the sampler today. And over here on the front, same menu, nothing has changed. I think I'm going to order myself the outer rim. So secret agent. Also have beers on tap. Yeah! I was waiting on you, man. <laughs> they have some wine, cider on tap, and beer. did not take long at all. You get very efficient service here, keep that in mind. But like I said, I got myself the Outer Rim. This has Patron Silver Tequila, Pomegranate Liquor, Lime Juice, and Pure Cane Sugar with Black Salt and Exotic Fruit Puree. And this was 1950. And I got a water as well. Black Salt, and it's blue because it comes from a band on our planet, of course. Uh, pork Pate, Blueberry Onion Champ, Manchego, uh, you're gonna have a torch, goat cheese, uh, pastrami with a mustard seed, bagel chip, that's gonna be actual blue cheese there. Uh, chorizo sausage in the corner, guava jelly, uh, and pickled veggies on a black bean hummus mix. Wow. Honeycomb hidden underneath the torch there as well. Here's a better look with the light on at everything. Wow. My name's JC as well. JC. I got uh, Manny the Mammoth over here too, okay? Hey, he's been a fun guy, yeah, man. You know where the outer rim is? No, where? Right there. <laughs> Everyone is so funny here. But this looks good. I've never had this before. This is my first time. of the other side of Black Spire Outpost. This set is brought to you by Savi and Sun Salvage. We'll take your scrap. Let's get this place back in orbit with a tribute to the Grand Dan and the Modalos. Am I pronouncing anything correctly? Let me tell you, Olga's Cantina is so much dang fun. Every time I have been inside of Olga's, I have just the best time ever because of the atmosphere, the vibe, the service that you get. Every time I go in there, I always talk to so many people just about Star Wars and it's just a vibe inside of Olga's Cantina. The drinks are great. The little sampler that I got was really good. I would highly recommend that. So many different flavors and different cheeses and different meats. It just mixed very well together and I just enjoyed it. I got to see DJ Rex and that's still a huge highlight here at Walt Disney World is Oga's Cantina here inside of Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. Passing by the Falcon and right over here Smuggler's Run is sitting at a 30 minute standby wait and don't forget this attraction does offer a single rider queue as well. Oh no, Doc is down at the moment. I have never seen this store this empty. I'll just walk up and buy a lightsaber right now. Ooh. Do you have any lightsabers from Afterlight? Not yet. Not yet? I wouldn't be surprised if any of them show up soon. Dang. Why do you say that? <laughs> oh no. Ezra's is 30% off right now. We miss you, Doc. 
to hear the cast members say that the lightsabers from Alkalite probably won't make it in, very telling. That means the uh, show isn't doing too well in order for them to cancel merchandise because I have to say, I have not seen any Alkalite merchandise anywhere. Hmm. There's Kylo Ren and the Stormtroopers. The Millennium Falcon is here. Then the Wookiee is here. I will find him. Yeah. He's looking for the Wookiee. Passing by Rise of the Resistance, and the standby queue has a 70 minute wait right now, which I do believe because the line is very long. It's throughout the extended queue line at the moment. But a quick tip if you wait about an hour to 30 minutes before park close, come over here, and more than likely, Rise of the Resistance will either be a walk on or it will have around a 15 minute wait. Another great place inside of this park to grab a adult beverage and a bar snack is here at Baseline Tap House. And that is located right on the side of Sci-Fi Dine-In right there. Star Tours has a 10 minute standby wait at the moment. It is now a little after 7 p.m. And right now the standby wait for the Tower of Terror is sitting at a 55 minute standby wait. By the way, did you hear? Jollywood Nights is returning this year. Hey, what's up, Jojo? everybody? <laughs> Good to see you, man. I haven't seen this guy in ages. It's been a minute. It's what's going minute. on? Nothing much. I'm just exploring my favorite Disney park, Hollywood Studios. All right. Yeah. I got a question for you. All right, here we go. What do you think of the crowds lately, the wait times? From your eyes, where are you seeing Disney yeah. at right now? Because I know it's a weird, strange time. Yeah. Full transparency, I feel like it's a case-by-case -case day. Right. Honestly, sometimes I come in, it's dead, and sometimes I come in, it looks packed. It does not feel like summertime. Perfect. At all. I right? mean, I love that. I mean, I, that's what I'm seeing right now. I, right. Like I said, I haven't been able to go on anything much yet. Yeah. But I've been vibing. Doesn't seem too crowded. You know, I don't feel like, I don't feel suffocated, you know? No, that's no, always no nice. force choking right now in the parks. <laughs> Good seeing I'm you, so man. Silly. I appreciate All right, it. Good seeing you, JoJo's buddy. world. Like the video. 2K likes. Make it happen right now. Thank you. <laughs> I am now passing by the recently reopened Rock and Roller Coaster starring Aerosmith. Right now, the standby line is at 65 minutes. That's the end of the line right there. I was about to say, let's go single rider, but the single rider queue is not open today. Oh my goodness. Halloween merchandise already. My boo. These are... Oh, there's no price. I think adult tees $25 each when you buy two, if not $29.99 each. Okay, so it's a his and her shirt. My boo. That's cute. Baseline tap house. And then I noticed another Halloween shirt right over here. This is for the kiddos. Pumpkin spice, everything. And these are $17.99 each when you buy two, if not $21.99. Are these new Haunted Mansion headbands? I have not seen these yet. I have also not seen these ears either. Those are fun. And then, ooh, I can finally see these ears in person. Looks like Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway is at a 45 minute wait right now. Rise 60, Smuggler's Run 45, Slinky 80. Rock and Roller Coaster 80. Hmm. I don't know if that's too accurate, but who knows anymore. Some of the characters from Fantasmic are out having a surprise meet and greet before you even enter the park. That's nice to see. All right, my friends, that's going to do it for today's video. I just want to go back and emphasize on what I saw during the time I was waiting in line for Slinky Dog Dash. It was something I've just truly never saw or witnessed before. And that's just not Disney to me, you know? I felt like once upon a time there was just more order from everything I saw today and even previously leading up to today. I just, I don't know what 
Disney is doing anymore. And I know I may sound like a broken record and I know some of you are like, Dev, then why do you even go to Disney anymore? All you do is complain. No, I'm not complaining again. I'm just bringing the news to you as if what I would want to see regarding news from theme parks and I'm just honest and transparent and I know some of you I don't even know anymore because I know there's people who will still defend Disney and again I want Disney to succeed I love Disney I want this place to be how it used to be before 2020 I need better leadership and mind you Walt Disney World is a huge chunk of the Walt Disney Company's yearly revenue they get a lot of money from their parks, especially here in Orlando, Florida, within Walt Disney World. So as a Disney fan, I'm concerned. And again, if you are planning a trip here to Walt Disney World anytime soon, trust me when I say this, it is not worth it right now. You're not missing anything other than the new show of the country, Bear Jamboree and Tiana's, which is having issues day after day but right now save your money and either come at a later time or again just take your money and go experience the magic on DCL Disney Cruise Line because I truly do believe DCL is worth it still but that's all that I have definitely let me know what you think about just this whole Disney situation down below in the comments do you agree disagree I'm just curious it's just a uh, very strange time here at the Disney parks. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up as it really does help out the channel in so many different ways. I love you guys so much. Please remember, it's nice to be nice on YouTube. I'll see you in the next video. I'm out.